This is really crazy. I mean, this is Sunday. Hey, it's Ian, how's it going? It's February 13, 2022. It's a bit cold and gray today. And I guess that's a commentary on how we're feeling right now as a whole here in Hong Kong. Let me quickly show you a little bit of the TSD waterfront. It's supposed to be one of the major attractions in Hong Kong. Now, just to remind you, it's Sunday today. Usually this would be packed with both local people and tourists. It just shows you how bad the COVID situation is in Hong Kong. This past week, in terms of the COVID infection rate, here in Hong Kong, we had the worst week ever since the pandemic. So in this video, I'm gonna walk around with my camera and show you a glimpse of what Hong Kong is like under the pandemic. We had zero case for a few months, up until around a month ago. The number of cases just exploded and now we're hit worse than ever. Just a few days ago, we had more than a thousand confirmed COVID cases here in Hong Kong. Now, this is probably a very low number comparing to other parts of the world, but apparently it's catastrophic for Hong Kong. One of the problems we have in Hong Kong is that it's a very small and crowded city and most residents live in tall and packed buildings. Here, the government takes drastic measures whenever they find one confirmed COVID case in a building. Residents of such buildings are required to get tested. These days, both vaccination and testing centers are at capacity. Here I am at one of the many testing centers. You can see there's a long queue of people waiting to get tested. Here in Hong Kong, we have this thing called Leave Home Safe. You're supposed to scan this wherever you go so that they can track and track whoever have been in such location if they ever find a confirmed COVID case. I don't think you ever find this thing in other parts of the world. But there you have it. Very soon, we are required to be vaccinated to gain access to certain venues and facilities such as shopping centers, sports centers, and even restaurants. Fortunately, I have been triple vaccinated since January this year, so I guess I'm good to go. But uh, we're going back to having this very, very strict social restriction. We don't call it a lockdown yet, but it definitely feels like it. So what it is is that we basically have zero social activities. Gyms are closed, sports centers are closed, parks are closed, hair salons are closed, beauty parlors are closed, bars and clubs are closed, restaurants are restricted to two persons a table. The border is actually closed for tourists. Unfortunately, a lot of businesses have either gone bankrupt or closed for good. It's funny, my friends and I were actually planning on having a cruise vacation just a month ago, but I mean, obviously we cannot do that now. And the cruise company actually has left Hong Kong. So, I mean, there's no business here. And going on to a vacation seems like an idealistic idea these days, but I guess it's the last and least problem we have right now. Now I'm in Sham Shui Po. This is supposed to be one of the busiest districts in Hong Kong. In normal times, these flea markets would be filled with people but today there's relatively much less traffic. Let's take a look at Mong Kok, another popular shopping district for both local and tourists. You could barely walk through these streets back in the days, but now it's just become another street. Let's move over to Causeway Bay. It's supposed to be equivalent to Times Square in New York. There are a lot of people in this district today, but as you can see, there are a lot of empty shops as well. The impact of the pandemic is quite evident.
let's head over to Central and the Soho area to check out the bar, restaurant and club district. Lang Kwai Fong, or LKF, is, or was, a very popular area for drinking, clubbing and dining. It's right in the heart of Central, but as you can see, most places are closed. I'm in LKF. This is supposed to be like a bar and restaurant district, but look at this now. There's nothing going on here. This is really crazy. Right now, I'm in another street, but also in the Soho district. And this street a little bit more happening. Soho, south of Hollywood Road, is supposed to be a vibrant area where people go hang out, but look at this now. It's very quiet. Now, let's walk over to Shangwan, the residential neighborhood right next to the central business district and see how things are holding up. As you can see, things aren't really better. Today is Sunday we're talking about. It's crazy. It's completely dead. I personally think that we need to somehow find a way to coexist with COVID. I totally understand that we need to protect those who are not vaccinated or who are not able to get vaccinated. But I also believe that we need to keep moving forward with life. Am I being selfish? Maybe, maybe not. It depends on how you look at it. I mean, there are people who have followed every last social restriction rule and have been triple vaccinated. And we have been giving incentive after incentive to no actual realization. I guess we need a sense of hope, a sense of living. I mean, we want to see the light. Right now, it takes one infected person to erase all the effort. And for a city as a whole, we are taking a few steps back. I guess right now here in Hong Kong, it's really a matter of living to survive versus living to live life. Yes, I do feel a little bit let down, but I try to be as positive as possible. So I turn my frustration into my motivation to shoot this little video. And that's it for today. Obviously, I haven't been to every district in Hong Kong. It's just a glimpse of what's happening in Hong Kong so you can have an idea. And hopefully someday when we watch these videos back, we'll be like, wow, how far we have come. I hope you like this video. Please give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.